Welcome back. Let's see what's happening at the commodities market, especially with speculations that OPEC is extending the oil or may extend the oil cut beyond March 2018. And to discuss this with me is a research analyst at the financial derivatives company, Chiama Kamadu. Thanks for coming on the program, Thank Chiamaka. Thank you for having me. So there's been speculation that about the oil cut by OPEC being extended beyond March 2018. Yeah. What implications is this likely going to have on Nigeria if it happens? Okay, first of all, I think it's good news. Oil price is currently at $55 um, per barrel, which is about $10 per barrel, um, which is $10, $10 per barrel um, in the budget for 2017. But the meeting, the meeting, the coming meeting next week is going to talk about, you know, the compliance among OPEC countries. And there's been speculations that and there's speculations that there's going to be three months or six months beyond March 2018. But what is important now is the fact that Nigeria is likely to be included in the oil production cuts, which, is, um, which, is, um, which can be attributed to the rebound in oil production. According to the latest oil, um, the OPEC report, oil production is currently at 1.9 million barrels per day, which is above the 1.8 million barrels per um, cap by OPEC. Now, you just mentioned the meeting. So what are your expectations from the forthcoming meeting of OPEC in Vienna? We see there's going to be a likely in, um, increased pressure you know, on Nigeria to you know, cut back on the oil production. But according to the oil minister, he said that um, we would resist any you know, pressure to, to, you know, for, the oil production, for the cut in oil production, given that the fact that there's uncertainty in the current rebound of oil production. Two scenarios might play out, actually. is either they cut the oil production to 1.8 million dollars per, million, um, million per barrel, which is still within the cap of, of 1.8 million barrels per day. Now, let's talk about the agri sector. Now, what are the current trends in the sector, considering the fact that it slowed in the second quarter of 2017? Uh, the slowdown in the agricultural sector um, is attributed to the fact that in the Q2 of 2017, it was a uh, planting season, so we didn't see much activities in the planting season. But currently, we're in the harvest season. We see, we expect to see, you know, a pickup in the agricultural sector, and which will see a, an increased supply in the domestic market, and you will see prices trickle downwards. But don't forget, the Christmas is coming. Demand for this domestic um, commodity will increase, which will see the commodities prices come up again. Yes, indeed. Apart from the commodities prices, we're likely going to come up again. What? How else is this going to affect the domestic commodities? For in, okay. We're just, we're just, you know, still talking about the yeah. agri-commodities markets. We're just saying that, you know, with some of the points that you just raised now, talking yeah. about the agri-commodities, how is it going to affect the domestic commodities market in the coming days? We expect to see a price decrease, given the fact that there'll be increased supply of these domestic commodities, like I mentioned earlier. But like I said, I do mention that the Christmas is coming. We expect to see prices trickle upwards during the Christmas because of increased demand. Many thanks, Chiamaka Udu, for coming on the program. Chiamaka Udu is a research analyst at the Financial Directives Company. In you know, other stories now, the Nigerian Customs Service is seeking the partnership of the organized private sector to put an end to smuggling activities nationwide. The Comptroller General, Mr. Amid Ali, made this call at a meeting with members of the Manufacturing Association of Nigeria in Lagos. Smuggled goods. I must confess that we are one of those vulnerable nations with, that, with terms of small goods. We have a border of about 4,070 kilometers. We cannot man those borders 100%. That is one. Two, we are still working very hard to make sure that we read our own system of the bad eggs in terms of officers. So for us to say we, can, we would beat our chest and say we have stopped small goods from coming to Nigeria is difficult. But what I think we should create a synergy between us and the manufacturers is for you to be able to identify those goods that are small goods and let us know. Because if they are put on counter, and very soon you will see part of the, 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 the actions that will be taken, we are going to go to the departmental stores and identify those goods. First and foremost, take for instance rice. We have 
I'm sure if the governor of Central Bank were, you were here, he would have told you for the past one year, no license was issued for importation of rice. No Form M was given. But we still see this rice in the shops, in some departmental shops. So we have now, lived, and we have gone to very soon, in conjunction with, uh, with the Consumers uh, Council, we will begin to go to stores and ask where the source of that rice, who brought them, and, and, and through what system. That is the only way we can reduce some of these excesses. And for you who are manufacturers, you know what you are manufacturing. I give you an example. The Gongoni company that is manufacturing uh, some of these insecticides, they have been sending intelligence to us. At any given time, they discover that there are shippings of similar products that are adulterated. They, 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 they inform us, and we, we, do, we do put an eye on that. Also, the tobacco uh, industries, that is what we have a synergy with them. Anytime, they, in fact, they have an intelligence worldwide. If there are importations of illicit cigarettes coming into this country, they will alert us. And we will we'll, we'll put a knife for so those type of things. So if we also form that synergy with some of you here, it will help us in tracking down some of these importations that are smuggled, that will run down your own production. In some cases, the importers connive with the agents. But in most cases, the agents do this. And we have been blocking their licenses. We are, we, are, we are prosecuting quite a number of them now. So what I want you to be aware of is that in the choice of your own agents, you must be sure who you are dealing with. Because between the agents and some of my custom officers, they connive and that brings up this problem. And finally, on today's program, Namibia's consumer inflation remains unchanged at 5.4% year-on-year in August. The slowdown in the inflation rate emanated mainly from the price levels of food and non-alcoholic beverages. Namibia has seen a continuous downward trend on the annual inflation rate from its highest rate of 8.2% in January 2017 and hitting a low of 5.4% in July 2017. And that's our program today. Thank you for watching. I am BC Adebayo.